Hi, I'm Rick from Marvin Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this series of videos, I'm going to be covering DJI's new Mavic Air. This is a new drone which fits firmly in between the Spark and the Mavic Pro. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel and remember to hit the little bell icon in the corner and that way you'll be alerted whenever I post up some new videos. Okay, of course, before we fly, we're actually going to have to put the props back on. So, now, the props are not all the same. So if I push those out so you can see them, as you will notice, some will have white markers on and some will have black markers on. And these correspond with the actual motors. You've got motors with white markers and some without because you have left and right handed props. That's why the drone doesn't just twist around because of the torque of the motor. So to put the props on, we take the corresponding, as you see that, that is a match. You've got the wee hooks on the bottom push them over so they actually sit into the motor now the way i do it is if you just grab the motor pinch it in your fingers take that line them up with the gaps push it in and then just turn like i turn that way it doesn't turn go the other way it turns and then it locks it in fact see it go and click there so make sure you give it a wiggle to make sure it is locked in otherwise what will happen if it's not locked in properly the prop's going to spin off either in flight or just as you take off so again with the black one hold the motor Pinch it in your fingers, line up the little, little catches, push down, turn, went that way, let go, springs up, give it a wiggle. Mm -mm -mm. Now, thing to point out is, you might notice if you had a Mavic before, is the props are not folding props, they're rigid, kind of like a Phantom, etc. Which means if they hit things, they can get damaged easily. So, um, always worth double checking your props before you take off and that's not just in the prop condition so what you want to do i just really just run my finger down the leading edge of the prop if there's any dings i mean dings aren't really a big problem but have a little look at the blade make sure there's no cracks or anything because believe me if you lose a part of a prop it will knock this thing out of balance so much it probably just knock the drone out of the sky so best not have it usually you get a bit of forgiveness like the prop will crack first and you can see you come down give it a wee flex and you can check where it's okay so check for that another thing to check as well which is very important if you do have a crash these little tags can get chipped or broken always make sure they're in good condition and that's why i do that thing where i hold the motor and i try to twist the prop is to make sure that if any of these catches have been rounded out it doesn't just click and pop off so that's really important so check those if you're in doubt of anything and you've got the fly more bundle you've got a multitude of props change it don't take the risk it's only four props there's no redundancy at all props are quite flexible though uh, maybe we'll see some upgraded ones at a later date maybe a bit, bit stiffer now touching also on props never ever ever fit aftermarket props they must be dgi typically you can always tell that they're G dgi and um, they usually will have some actually these ones don't they usually have some sort of indication on them obviously like a dji embossing but they don't but what i would do is um just make sure if you have picked up a set of props and you're not sure just have a look make sure they all have the same numbers and logos etc if there's anything missing chances are it could be a copy prop just don't take the chance i mean if dji don't sell it don't use it I've seen that causing so many problems in the past I hope you found that video helpful and if you'd like to support my channel remember to subscribe and hit the little bell icon and that way you'll be alerted when there's any new videos. Also you can also head over to my Patreon channel and as for as little as a dollar a month you can support me to keep helping bringing you more informative videos. Uh, always remember to fly safe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.